About a year ago, the backpacking and ski influencer, Casey's Trails, did a video about how men on the trail made her more nervous than wild animals. She noted that this was particularly true when she was solo hiking or solo adventuring. This is totally legit, and my wife has stated the same thing regularly. My understanding from Casey's uh, TikToks was that she got a lot of pushback about that. Um, but I think that there's some really good examples of how the way that men on the trail act can make others feel really uncomfortable. And we really do want to make uh, these trails, ski areas, rock climbing crags, whatever, uh, open to all. And we want to do this by not doing dumb things. And when I say we, I mean we. Cis, white, males that do dumb things and say dumb things. So the other day I was on the trail, uh, urban trail, with uh, a friend of mine, his wife and his 12-year-old daughter. Uh, the three of us uh, have known each other since college. Uh, we are Gen Xers and, of course, uh, a 12-year-old girl. So on the trail, this guy was coming up and he was wearing one of these things, uh, this harness with a knife in it. Um, weird. Uh, definitely makes us feel like he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, but in addition to that, above the knife here uh, on uh, his shoulder, there was a sign uh, or, or a badge that said, show me your T-I-T-S. So how does something like this make others feel? Well, when it comes to people with a lot of wilderness experience in essentially an urban forest, um, they look at this guy wearing paramilitary stuff who's a half a mile from the car and think that they're goofy um, or inexperienced uh, or trying to show other people, trying to portray something that they're not. Uh, that was my experience. That was my buddy's experience. That was not the experience of my buddy's wife and daughter. In both cases, they noted that if they ran into this guy by themselves, they would be quite nervous. I don't have a solution for this. I don't. But I think it's on all of us to recognize that the way that we act, the way that we dress, the way that we look, it has an impact. And if we really do want to create an environment that's welcoming to others, we can't be idiots.